New AI image models are dropping out of nowhere. A few days ago, Alibaba Cloud just released a new open source image generation model which is on the same level as some of the best AI image models to date like ChatGPT, Flux Pro, Google Image 4, Ideogram 3 and so on. But unlike these other models, this one is completely free and open source, meaning that you can generate as many images as you want with it and they look absolutely stunning. Know that this model is really good at following prompts and generating text. You can see a couple of example images on the screen right now which I generated on their online when interface completely free. Keep watching until the end because I'll show you step by step how to install and use this model on as low as 8 gigabytes of VRAM. First of all, if you want to test the full model out or you don't have a powerful enough GPU, you can still use this model for free in the browser just by going to the official Quen website. And as you can see over here, we are using the Quen 3 model, which is their latest model. And all you have to do is click on image generation. So let's say that we want to see a realistic image of a teddy bear holding a sign that says free hugs. And over here you can change the aspect ratio. So we have about five different aspect ratios. For this one, let's do the nine by 16 aspect ratio. And all you have to do is click on this arrow button to generate the image. And here is the result. As you can see, it looks really good and the text is also very accurate. I've tested this out and there doesn't seem to be any limit to how many images you can generate on the official Quen website, so you can go ahead and generate as many images as you want. But if you want to run this model locally on as low as 8GB of VRAM, then keep watching because I'm gonna show you how to download every file that you need inside of Comfy UI. So this is the official Comfy UI page for the Quen image model. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see over here that it was tested on an RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM and the FP8 version took about 94 to 71 seconds to generate an image and for the BF16 version, it took between 295 seconds and 131 seconds to generate a single image. And if we scroll down a bit over here, we can see the two models. So we have the BF16 model and the FP8 version. And keep in mind that unless you have at least 40 gigabytes of VRAM, then you cannot run the BF16 version. And I don't recommend trying to run the FP8 version unless you have at least 20 gigabytes of VRAM. Otherwise that might not work. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to run Quen image on as low as eight gigabytes of VRAM. And if we scroll down a bit over here, we can see all the files that we need. So this is the model itself the encoder and the VAE and over here it shows you where you need to put all the files. So if you don't have at least 20 gigabytes of VRAM then I recommend using the GGUF version. This is a quantized version of the Quen image model which means that they squeeze the model to make it smaller in size and it allows you to run it on lower amounts of VRAM. So over here you can see all the files that we need to download. First of all let's go ahead and download the VAE. So just click over here and click on download. Now go wherever you have installed ComfyUI, open the models folder and over here we have the VAE folder. Go ahead and save the file. I have already downloaded it so I'm not gonna download it again. Next up let's download the model itself. So let's go ahead and click on files and versions. And over here you have the different versions of quantized models ranging from Q2 all the way up to Q8. Over here you can see the size of each file and this is more or less directly linked to the amount of VRAM that you need to have in order to run these models. So I have 16 gigabytes of VRAM so I'm gonna look for the model that best fits my amount of VRAM. And for me it should be this one, the Q5KM version. So over here I asked ChatGPT what does the K and M stand for and it says that K stands stands for K block quantization, which is more optimized and it has better accuracy. And the M stands for mixed quantization, which means that it's used to balance speed and quality. And over here, it also mentions that K tends to be better than the zero and one forms of the models, which means that we should go and download the KM version instead of the one or zero versions. So this is the model for me. I'm gonna click on download. And once again, open your Comfy UI folder, models, and save it in the Diffusion Models folder. I have already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna do that again. Lastly, let's go ahead and download the text encoder. So over here we have the Safe Tensors version and the GGUF version. If you have more than 20 gigabytes of VRAM and you don't need to use the GGUF version, then go ahead and download the Safe Tensors, but I'm gonna download the GGUF. So over here, let's look for the model that we have just downloaded. And for me, it's this one. As you can see, it's Q5KM. So let's go ahead and click on download. And we need to save this one in the text encoders folder. 
After you downloaded the files, go ahead and open ConfUI and click on Manager and go ahead and update all. After the update is complete, go back to this page, Files and Versions, and over here we have this media folder. And inside we have these two files, we're gonna go ahead and download this workflow JSON. So click on download, save it wherever you want, I have already saved it over here. And after that you should go back into ComfyUI and drag this file that you have just saved in here. And this will load up the workflow. Now after you have downloaded all of the files, we have to make a couple of changes over here. So if you remember, we have downloaded the GGWeb version and not the standard version, so we should connect these two instead. And we can even disable this node because we're not gonna need it. And over here, go ahead and select the necessary file. So for us is the Quen 2.5 whatever whatever and the name of the version that you have downloaded. And if we look over here, this is the VAE, make sure you select the right VAE. And lastly, this is the model itself, so make sure that you select the model that you have downloaded. And we are ready to go. So I stole this prompt from somewhere else and we can see that we want to generate a vibrant, retro, psychedelic cartoon t-shirt design featuring a jubilant sun character. You can go ahead and read the whole prompt if you want. So here we have the case sampler and by default the seed is set to 22 and the control after generate is set to fix. Which means that if you leave everything the same and you want to generate your image again, you're gonna get the exact same result because we have a fixed seed. And in order to change that, just go ahead and click over here until you see this randomize option over here, which will randomize our seed, meaning that we're gonna get different results every time we generate a new image. And everything else I recommend leaving the same because the settings are pretty decent. And let's just go ahead and click on Q prompt. And if we take a look at the task manager, as you can see, the model first of all has to load into our RAM and then the image is going to start generating. And sometimes the model might crash and it's going to show you this reconnecting message over here. If that happens to you, just go ahead and restart ComfyUI and try again. Okay, after a quick restart, I hit Q prompt again and as you can see, the image is starting to generate. Over here, you can see a low resolution preview. And right now on 16 GB of VRAM, it is generating the image at about 9.55 seconds per iteration. And the generation speed tends to get faster after a few iterations. And this is the result. As you can see, it took about 226 seconds to generate the image, also including the part where it has to load the model into the RAM, so don't worry, the next generation is going to be faster. And if we take a look at the image, we can see that it looks really good. The text looks very good, as you can see there's no mistakes and the overall graphic looks pretty impressive. Just for comparison, let's go ahead and also download the Q2K version, which is going to fit very well inside of 8GB of VRAM. Meaning that the image quality might not look quite as good, but you can still use this model even on a low VRAM GPU. In the meantime, let's go ahead and generate another image, so I'm just going to select all the text over here and paste another prompt which I stole once again from somebody else. You can go ahead and pause the video to read through the prompt if you want, but in essence we want to generate a photorealistic image of a hand holding a perfume. And because the model is already loaded into the RAM, the image generation starts a lot faster. And here is the result, as you can see the text looks a bit weird over here, but the overall image looks pretty good and it generated in about 196 seconds and the resolution might look a bit bad, but that's because by default we are generating the images at 720p instead of 1080p. But you can go ahead and change these values over here. And this way you're gonna get a full HD image, but keep in mind that this is also going to increase the generation time. Okay, for our next generation, I flipped the resolution over here, which is going to give us a 9 by 16 aspect ratio or the standard portrait mode on your phone. And once again, I copied a prompt from somewhere else. I'm just gonna paste it over here real quick. And this should give us a nice looking poster with some text. Keep in mind that you can also add a negative prompt, so if you don't want to see certain things in your image, then just go ahead and type them over here. So let's say that we don't want bad quality or low resolution 
or weird texture or whatever else you don't want to see in your image just go ahead and type it over here and instead of increasing the resolution which is going to also increase our generation time pretty dramatically i recommend upscaling the image after you have already generated it and to do that is pretty simple all you have to do is double click so just search for upscale and we want to use this upscale image using model node and after that go ahead and search for upscale again and look for the load upscale model after that let's look for a comparison node and we have this image comparison node over here if you see this outlined with red all you have to do is go and click on manager and install missing custom nodes after that let's go ahead and connect the output image to b and the vae output to a and after that connect this one to the vae output once again and the upscale model connected to the upscale option over here and over here you can go ahead and download and use whatever upscale model you prefer i like this one 4x ultra sharp and let's move this node over here and let's also make it a lot bigger and this is the prompt which we are going to use and here is the result as you can see this is the image it looks pretty good the text looks very good it doesn't seem to have any mistakes but it's also pretty low resolution and for comparison this is the original image as you can see it's pretty blurry but using the upscale node we get this as you can see it looks really sharp and really nice but if you don't like this upscale then don't worry i have a full tutorial on how to upscale images using flux inside of comfy ui if you want to check that out and it's going to give you much better results next up ask ChatGPT to give me a very complicated prompt including a bunch of different cartoon characters so we have bugs bunny spongebob scooby-doo mickey mouse and a bunch of other stuff and this is to test how well it can recognize and combine a bunch of different characters in the same image when given a very complex and complicated prompt and for this one let's go ahead and change the aspect ratio back to a standard 16 by 9 and this is the result i'm very impressed because aside from scooby-doo which looks a bit weird all of the other characters look really good and the overall scene and composition are absolutely amazing and here is the upscaled version you can see that it's a lot sharper maybe a bit too sharp in some areas but overall gwen did a great job with this prompt Next up, let's generate an image of a notebook page with this quote by Steve Jobs written on it in blue ink. This is quite a long text, so let's go ahead and see if Gwen is able to generate long text images without messing up the words. And this is the result. Unfortunately, it seems that when the text is very long, the model starts to break down quite a bit. As you can see, the whole text is quite unreadable, so let's go ahead and try a shorter text. So I replaced the quote with a much shorter one. In the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity by Albert Einstein and let's see if this one works better. And this is the result. This time it's much better. As you can see the text is very clear and easy to read but for some reason it still refuses to generate the text in blue ink as we specified over here. Okay, next up I asked ChatGPT to generate me a prompt for a colorful cartoon comic book style image with four panels depicting some characters having a dialogue and this is what it came up with. So I copied that prompt and pasted it into Comfy UI and let's see how this works. And as you can see it did generate a four panel cartoonish comic but if we take a closer look we can see that it kinda messed up the whole concept and essentially it combined the characters so over here we were supposed to only see the adventurer wearing these clothes but for some reason it merged the cat and the adventurer next up let's go ahead and test the q2 model that we have downloaded earlier and compare it to the q5 model to see which one generates better images and it's pretty obvious that the q5 should do a better job but let's see if the difference is noticeable so first of all let's go ahead and test it with this prompt it's supposed to show us a photorealistic image of a pocket watch on a pillow and let's start with the q5 model i'm gonna keep every other setting the same and this is the image it looks pretty good pretty nice realistic and let's go ahead and switch to the q2 model i'm gonna keep everything else exactly the same and let's see how this works and here is the result it also looks pretty good i mean the q2 version also did a pretty decent job 
And just for reference, we can also use the Quen3 website to generate an image. And I'm pretty sure that this one is using the full model. So let's go ahead and see how large the quality difference is. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste the prompt over here. I'm also going to ask it to generate the image by applying this function. And over here, we can select the aspect ratio. Let's set it to 16 by nine. And let's go ahead and generate the image. And as you can see, it's generating. And here is the result. It didn't take too long to generate the image. And as we can see, it's quite a noticeable difference between the full-fledged Quen 3 version and the open source GGWeb version. But again, it's pretty nice that we can also run this model locally if you don't want to run it in the browser like this. But once again, you're gonna need a really powerful GPU in order to generate images like this using the full model. Let's go ahead and try out a different prompt. So this image should depict a beautiful girl looking at the window of a store on a street during winter. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Q2 version and leave all the other settings exactly the same. And here is the result, it looks pretty good. Her face looks a bit weird, but overall the image looks pretty decent. Now let's go ahead and switch to the Q5 model and once again we're gonna leave everything else exactly the same and let's click on Q prompt. And here is the result, in my opinion, in terms of quality, it looks more or less exactly the same as the Q2 version, but I'll let you judge this one. And next up, let's go ahead and once again try to generate the same image using the Quen3 web interface and see how big the difference is. And here is the result, as you can see, it looks really good. And you can see that this one is going more for a cartoony style. In comparison, our previous images looked more realistic, but overall it looks really good. So as you can see, there's not quite that big of a difference between the Q2 and the Q5 version. So if you only have 8GB of VRAM, then you don't have that much of a disadvantage compared to someone who has like 16GB of VRAM like me. The only significant difference is probably gonna be how long the images take to generate, but overall you're getting a pretty decent image, even with only 8GB of VRAM. So this is it, I hope you found this video helpful, if you have any questions make sure to leave them in the comments, hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.